with this, I come to the topic, centrifugal compressor optimization. So with optimizing your compressor, you just don't save on cost, but you also make a significant contribution in reducing our carbon footprint. So I'll go through the topic for today's webinar. I'll first start with centrifugal compressor operating principles, where I'll explain the flow physics and the work done within a centrifugal compressor. And then I'll move on to types of impeller and diffuser. And then the losses that's in the centrifugal compressor, different types of losses and how to mitigate these losses. And I'll also give an overview on the performance prediction and optimization tool that we developed at MP. And I'll move on to a real case scenario where we utilize this tool to optimize the performance of a impeller. And finally, conclusions. So let me go to centrifugal compressor operating principle. The flow field within a centrifugal compressor is not 2D, but 3D. The flow moves from, not just move from inlet to exit, but there is also a part of flow that takes place from pressure side to suction side. There are vortexes that's been created on the hub. There are tip vortexes that's been created on the shroud. There is also a jet wake pattern that's at the exit of the impeller. So due to all these complications in the flow within your impeller, it's pretty important to know all these complications in order to develop a more efficient engine. Going further, a work done within a centrifugal compressor. The right side, the image is a cross-sectional view of a centrifugal compressor. Point one is the inlet of the impeller. The point two is the exit of the impeller. Location three is the exit of a veinless space in the diffuser. And then your point four is the exit of your vein diffuser. And if you take one, 